Welcome back everyone. I'm at uh, the Gigantis Festival in Madrid. It's part of uh, St. Is Isidore's Festival, San Isidore. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. As you can see, they all dress up in these amazing costumes. And yeah, it's uh, very cool and they go for a long ways. Look at that. Wow. All right, so uh, catch you later. See ya. ceremonial home for the royal family, the Royal Palace of Madrid, which was built in the 18th century by Philip V and further improved by son Charles III, rivals the world's great palaces. Before stepping into the foyer and climbing the stairs to the stunning rooms, those filled with tapestries and paintings from Spanish masters, the grounds are perfect for strolling. The colossal royal palace is a not-to-be-missed sight in the Spanish capital, truly a jewel in the historic heart of a city that straddles its rich past and a vibrant future. ancient Egyptian temple from the 2nd century BCE, one that ponders its existence in a city park, is only one attraction that visitors and residents alike enjoy on a daily basis. Throughout Madrid, one finds a city that hums with an electric energy all of its own. During May, the city marks its most famous festival, that which celebrates Saint Isidore the Laborer. It's a time where dancing in the street and the parade of giants go hand in hand. What's up everyone? I'm on, I'm on uh, Calle de Huertas and I'm on a tapas bar tour. Tapas means appetizers in Espanol, if you didn't know. And yeah, so you can have all kinds of things like cheeses and meats and I, I had el pulpo, which means octopus, and uh, some ch ch chorizo as well. So yeah, I'm just on to my next bar. Oops, oh, almost got hit by that guy. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun and yes, I did have a cerveza, a beer. And uh, yeah, I'm having a great time. As you can tell, it's a great street, really lively, lots of stuff going on, but I'll show you more as I have more tapas and more cerveza. Hasta luego. It'll be difficult to forget walking through the teeming streets to the city's beloved museum district and the world-renowned Prado Museum which is home to thousands of works of art from Renaissance masters. Picasso's enigmatic paintings by Salvador Dali and other thought-provoking pieces from the giants of modern art await at the Reina Sofia Museum, just minutes down the road. Once inside, change your perception to understand these prints. Gazing at the brushstroke faces, the surrealist images, and the cubist style of Pablo Picasso, you won't soon forget this Spanish museum. As a break from the energy of Madrid, Segovia, the former Roman fort town, offers visitors one of the world's greatest ancient aqueducts and the picturesque castle on the cliffside. to the 
top of the Alcazar, the city's former medieval royal palace, and look out upon the historic center, witnessing how life continues on in this town as it has for centuries. Thank you for watching this Madrid episode of Traveling with Crushworth. To follow me to Cordoba and the Mesquita Mosque, please click the video link above. For more travel photographs and videos, find me on Facebook by searching Traveling with Crushworth. You can also find me on Twitter at Travel with Crush. Thanks for watching.